so so go to signupgenius.com. You can Google that. Say login. You might have to um, create an account. Okay, so like new account if you need to. I'm going to log in. If you've done this before, you probably have your JCPS email account. Okay. I'm going to go up here to create a sign up because this doesn't have all the options you need. So create a sign up. There. <clears throat> Name it. Parent teacher conferences, fall 2020, or the date, whatever you want to. You can hit a plus sign there, put maybe your name, fall 2020, create, it should automatically load. Uh, scheduling, education. You can't pick the templates that have these like little. Uh, award looking things. I like back to school seven. So I picked that. I'll say save and continue. Remember you can pause my video. I'm going fast, but you just pause it. Add dates. October 5th. Add. You don't really have to put the times in there. Add slots. I sent you another link in the email to get to the LMHS help desk. Um, you can also get there through the faculty website or the school website. But anyway, so I sent you this link. You should be able to go here. Oh, let me move myself out of the way. Copy. Highlight all this. Okay. Command C. You might need to include in your email that you send out, like, are you going to send them a link? You know, how are you going to meet up with them online? That's for, I think, you to figure out what you want to do the best. You go to bulk slots. Okay. So the way I did this is I highlighted and I said control C for copy. Command C on a Mac. So I'm going to say command V. I'm on a Mac. Or control V for Velcro or paste. Okay. You only want one slot per time period, so save. All right, so it looks like they're all on there. So good. Um, you might have to hit show 50 or show 25 or whatever if you can't see all your slots. They're there. Settings. Um, email and name required. You could tell them that you want them to comment their student name so you can make that required because sometimes parents have different names, last names. I would take off allow people to swap slots. I usually change my notification to one day before because they forget. Um, you can do save and continue. Then you go to publish. Okay, so you publish it. Then you'll have a link. So copy the link, okay? You don't want to invite through here. You want to invite through Infinite Campus. So you go to Infinite Campus. You're in Instruction, Message Center, New. Remember, you can pause my video. Class message user. I usually have a template um, that I save. But anyway, I usually change this to my email too. I don't know if that really works, but you're... You know, email parent teacher conference is October 15th or October 5th. Put your email in here or whatever date. <clears throat> I mean, put your information in here, how you're going to meet them online for the fall of 2020. You know, figure that out. Go next. Oh, I'm just going to type something in there. So, compose your message, go next. Drop down term one. Pick your classes that you want to send this to. Okay whatever they are, scroll down. You have to check your messenger contacts, students too, if you want. You don't have to send it to students. Um, next, it'll have a preview of everything. You can always go back if you made a mistake. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and hit close because I don't wanna send that out, but you would hit send, and then that's how you send it. We're making coffee in the background, so that's what you hear. Um, it's okay. <laughs> All right. <clears throat>